so now I'm going to show you how to put the sock on so you get the best benefit from it. What you want to do is take it out of the package first. And you've got a couple of Velcro straps. One is on the toes and one is around the top of the sock that holds the sock up. Go ahead and take your sock off and roll your pant legs up. Okay, when you take the sock out of the package, it's best to leave all the Velcro straps attached. Okay, just go ahead and flip it over the top like this. I'm going to slide it on over your foot. I'll give that to you and you can go ahead and bring that up. And you want to bring it up against the toes and bring the top part of the sock up just as high as you can up above the, the thick part of the calf there. There you go. If you have any extra material in the top here, what you don't want to do is roll it or fold it in the top because then it can become uncomfortable. So center it like that. And if we have any extra material, we're just going to pinch it and slide it down here towards the middle. Um, you're, you're going to find that that'll actually happen more with people that are shorter and um, they have some extra material at the top there, so you want to pull that down. This upper strap is non-elastic and a lot of people think it's to hold the sock up, but its function is actually just to keep this ring centered at night while you sleep. Okay, so we'll put that in position here and just go ahead and fold that around the back. Okay, good. Alright, so put your foot flat on the floor with your ankle at 90 degrees and then we're going to undo this toe strap. And now I want you to relax your toes, and I'm going to pull your toes up just about a half inch or a finger width off the floor and refasten this strap. Okay. And when I let go, you really shouldn't feel any stretch or anything. Do you feel anything right no, now? No. Okay. What happens is when you're off of your feet, when you're non-weight bearing and you put your foot up, the body's going to reposition. Okay. So I'm going to have you go ahead and put your foot up on this stool here. Like that. Okay. Now relax your foot. Okay. And that's where you actually get the stretch. So what's happening is the sock is not actually stretching your calf. It's holding your toes in place as your foot falls forward. And that resistance is engaging what they call the windlass mechanism. It's basically just a fancy term for putting some tension on this plantar fascia. Okay? So you want to think of this not as a, a calf stretching product, but it's actually as if your foot is resting in a hammock. And if you've got it on properly, you can actually undo this upper strap and the sock will still hold its position. So a lot of people get concerned when they wear this. They don't think they could tolerate it pulling on their toes all night long. Actually, in the research study that was done on the sock, which was the largest, largest night splint study ever conducted, all of the patients were able to tolerate wearing it at night. So it's pretty simple. Wear it in the evening for a few hours uh, when you're watching TV or working on the computer. And then uh, when you go to bed, wear it for six hours or so then. Well, how long should I wear it? Um, you're going to probably see some benefit within the first couple nights. Um, I it's, take it off then? It's or? gradual. Now you're going to want to continue to wear it because that tearing that's taking place in that uh, plantar fascia is going to be happening over time on an almost undetectable level. And so you want, a, uh, you want a history of healing. So you're going to want to wear it until you've been pain free for seven mornings. Um, at that point, take it aside, make sure you're wearing your proper footwear, uh, doing your stretches and your exercises. And if you ever start to feel the pain come back, uh, what you want to do is get on it right away, get back in the proper shoes, and, and put the sock on. Great. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome.